Linear functions exercise A. Sketch the graph of the line 2x minus 6y equals 10. Remember, two points determine a line. So because this is in standard form, let's just go for the x and y intercepts because that's easiest. So the x intercept is going to be when y is 0. So 2x minus 6 times 0 equals 10. That goes away. 2x equals 10. x equals 5. So when y equals 0, x equals 5. All right, now the y-intercept is when x equals 0, so 2 times 0 minus 6y equals 10, so that goes away to 0. y equals negative 10 over 6, which is also negative 5 over 3. So y equals negative 5 over 3, which is 1 and almost 2. All right, so like there. And then we can draw a line between them. Look just like that. To find the intercepts, you would set x equal to 0, solve for y, set y equal to 0, solve for x. This is exactly what we did, and this is the line that we drew. Exercise B. Sketch the graph of y plus 3 equals negative 5 times x plus 1 using the point slope form. All right, so what's our point and what's our slope here? Remember. The, the point-slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we know that m equals negative 5. What else do we know? Well, negative y1 is plus 3. Therefore, y1 equals negative 3. Because if you put negative 3 in here, you will get y plus 3 here because of the double negative. We'll cancel. And we have negative x1 here becomes plus 1. So x1 equals negative 1. If you put negative 1 in here, this negative sign will cancel out with the negative sign in, in these parentheses here, and it will become positive 1. So we now know that our point is negative 1 comma negative 3, and our slope is negative 5. So negative 1, negative 3, and our slope is negative 5, therefore it'll be going downhill from left to right, so negative 5 over 1. So if we go backwards, we would go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then to the left, 1, and that's our line. So we just draw the line between the two points, like so, and there we go. And here is the answer. This point that we drew in our graph was also negative 2, comma 2.